Hi everybody, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at a project that is an indoor scan with both sphere and checkerboard targets used. This is a scan that is one of the more difficult types of projects to uh, scan and register as the uh, data that is in the scope is above the ceiling tile line. So there are uh, things like piping and electrical that is uh, present above the ceiling tiles and it needs to be included with the data from the rooms below. So we're going to take a look at uh, registering this type of project and take a look at what that result looks like. So we've got our 11 scans, we've got a cluster, we have not done any processing with it so we're quickly going to go in take a look at this right click on the scans folder uh, we go to operations process scans that's one way to get to this screen there are numerous ways but uh, uh, that will get you here um, we're going to go down to targets find targets spears are already checked we're going to uh, include the checkerboards and we've got the opportunity to create a point cloud we're not going to do that yet. We're going to make sure that this project uh, registration processing comes together first. Uh, it's listed as non-colorization. We want to keep it here because due to the fact that some of these scans are, uh, like I said, above ceiling tiles, it is dark up there. And adding color or photographs into this type of scan uh, may really prevent us from seeing anything uh, above the tile line. So we're just simply going to add in checkerboards with our targets that the uh, software is looking for and then start pre-processing. It looks as though we've got a, uh, a green light on our scan manager. We'll go ahead and lock that up. Go to explore here. And we can take a look at our targets and our scan positions, they're clustered nicely. So we just right click on the scans folder and start loading the scans. And it looks like it has come together correctly. We'll take a look at our quick view here. And you can see where we've got multiple sphere targets that are seen underneath the uh, the tile level. We've got no targets above the tile level. And we've got checkerboard targets in addition to the sphere targets at the lower level. Again, this is a difficult type of scanning and it is absolutely imperative to have targets that are easily seen multiple targets on multiple planes sphere targets in uh, you know not too close together when I say that I mean no closer than you know six feet in this case they're probably closer to uh, to eight feet and that will allow the scans to come together in pre-processing without any sphere targets you could see where there's massive confusion above the tile line and below so this is a this is an excellent example of uh, of good scanning technique. Now what we can do is create a project point cloud, so that we can create a clip box and take a different look at the project. Just about five minutes, and that was done. We can unload all of the scans here and uh, we'll just jump back and forth in and out of the project into explore and uh, we've got our fully loaded scope project here now to get the best idea of exactly what was captured go ahead and create a clip box we will set our clip box up rotated here so that our 
walls are relatively square. We can see in some of our other videos how that can be uh, done by giving one of the walls a north, south, east, west, but here we're just going to go a little down and dirty. Now, We can take a look at a side view of our project. See what's captured above our tile ceiling tile line. our clip box here so we've got a tremendous amount of data that's actually present above the actual ceiling plane and this is something that you can now model uh, in BIM you can do all the HVAC um, you can go in and, and uh, pick up any of the electrical piping and everything that is in here, the, uh, the sprinkler system. All of that can be modeled uh, based on these scans. Now, you've also got the opportunity with some of the new platforms that we will have available through Atlantic Laser Scanning here very soon to include this laser scan in a platform. Uh, that will be able to layer the uh, room like this in a 3D laser scan and then a layer that shows the project in uh, a BIM model and then, you know, possibly a layer with the project in a, um, a blueprint uh, 2D. Uh, and we've also got the ability now to, uh, we'll be providing the ability to do a 360 photo capture walking through. So this is the only room that uh, you need to uh, to capture in a 3D scan, say it's a pump room or something like that. And then there's a great deal of other space uh, in this building that it's not necessary to have super high resolution, but you still want to capture it in 3D. Uh, that can be done uh, with the new 360 camera uh, uh, devices that we have available and you can create layer upon layer upon layer of the project where you can page through from uh, blueprint to a 3D uh, tour walkthrough to laser scanning to BIM modeling all present in one platform as well as and, uh, notations that you can drill down into a piece of equipment all the way down into that piece of equipment's uh, maintenance uh, logs, all of the different part numbers that are necessary for that. All of that will be included in one platform very soon that we'll have for you. So I hope this helps uh, give you an idea of exactly what this type of project will yield. And if you have any questions, please let us know. If you have any suggestions on a project, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you and good luck.